squeaky, feel good, fun, and like the darkest thing about it is typically a tired joke about dogfighting or like Cubone's spooky backstory. But like any media property that's been around long enough, Pokemon has persevered through its share of controversies. Here are five Pokemon controversies that nobody expected. Number five. While you might expect Pokemon's first major social hurdle to be the swarm of angry parents saying that the cards are a form of gambling or they're exploitative or they're a challenge to American values or something, it was actually something far more direct and far more startling. In 1997, episode 38 of the Pokemon anime was ground zero for what became known as Pokemon Shock. The episode, Deno Senshi Porygon, or Cyber Soldier Porygon, featured Ash and the gang on an adventure in the digital frontier to thwart a Team Rocket scheme. It's a pretty innocuous setup that aims to explain how some of the iffy logic of Pokeballs work. But now it carries a dark legacy. When Pikachu unloads an electric attack on a bevy of missiles within the computer, the resulting cyber explosion manifests in the form of a violent barrage of red and blue strobing lights exactly the type that might trigger epileptic seizures. The episode, which aired on an unassuming Tuesday evening, caught about four million kids in the crossfire. And while we don't have an exact count on how many kids were actually affected, we do know that 685 kids had reactions so severe that they had to be sent to the hospital. Disaster also resulted in the show being pulled from the airways for four months, and the episode has never been rebroadcast. So now, do you think that Pikachu's such a good guy? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, he's still pretty cute. Number four. Look, we have to talk about Pokemon Go sooner or later, so let's just get it over now so that you don't expect it to be number one. This was recent enough that I suppose that most of you are probably pretty familiar with everything that went down, because how could you not be? But just in case, let's recap. Let's see, Pokemon Go was a hyper-addictive alternate reality game for mobile devices in which players traverse their actual environments to collect Pokemon, and if you weren't one of the people playing it a little bit or a lot of it for casual fun, maybe you're one of these people. The guy in Singapore who got fired from his job for calling Singapore a f***ing piece of shit country for the game not being available in his region yet. The robbers who used beacons at Pokestops to lure in potential victims. The other countless robberies of people who blindly followed the game. The two guys who fell off a cliff while trying to catch some sweet mon. Uh, the child abandonment. The guy who was attacked in a park with a straight razor because a stranger thought he was recording him with his phone. Sounds like maybe he should have been- SHINY POLYWAG! The teens who got shot at by a homeowner who- <laughs> Freaking yes! I am so glad I decided to do this hunt today. 37 chain, let's freaking go. I don't have any- I don't really have any Pokeballs, gosh, I'm gonna use a dive ball actually. Oh, crit catch. <laughs> this thing's catching. Yep. Nice. Freaking finally. Like, I say that because, like, it took, like, three chains. Two of which were over 130. So this is, like, 300 polywag polywags encountered. Freaking, that's insane. But anyways, light, bleh, light, bleh, <laughs> ah, boy. Alright, well, let's see if we can go back to back. Probably, probably won't, but, oh well. And if you like this video, like and subscribe for more reactions and stuff and I will see you guys on the next shiny reaction. Goodbye.